Welcome back to my music, folks. I'm the Azure Blaze. We are ready. To, we are ready to go. Destined for action. As we have, we have, we have our first doubles, doubles, doubles kicks off with a pretty awesome tag team match. As it continues, just moments ago, the tag titles were on the line, and PPGs is doing their open challenge, their very first tag team open challenge, and they they got the victory finally, uh, taking care of just cleaning up Luke, Lucas and Ness to a bloody pulp, man. Tag Team Champions are no joke after Blossom returned and very, very epic matchup right there. But nonetheless, so a brand new team has joined the ECW, has joined the ECW team, or the ECW brand as a matter of fact. Robin and Nightwing. Yes, the, yes, the, uh, the, I guess Batman has left, has just left these two, these two full of high flyers as these the superhero high flyers with a very, very cohesive unit. As El Nightwing won the um, run the randomized gauntlet on Extreme Saturday, definitely had a, had a pretty good one. Also had a had a U.S. title match, but sadly did not make it make it that way. Good Skokie, he got completely bodied. But still, Nightwing and Robin are hopefully Robin and Nightwing are a team. Nightwing has no singles combat, <laughs> let's just say. But Nightwing, Robin's Robin and Nightwing's double team, they can work well as, as a high flying unit. But yeah, they've also got to pass the Robot Masters, Skull Man and Hornet Man, Dr. Wily's uh, biggest biggest and baddest old members from Velocity and also from NXT's Hornet Man, which have been a pretty interesting team up team as well. I've seen these as well. They're not that bad of a team. Hornet Man also has been competing on NXT as well for the last couple seasons and uh, he's been doing he's been doing here and doing here and there. Well, Sometimes, but if this be a big, this be the Hornet Men's big break, but, but Robin Nightwing's ECW debut is approaching for them as they get set for a round stage. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, here comes round one as Team D as Team Team DC gets the Robot Masters as round one begins right off the bat. Robin, right nice little staff combo. That we and the, and there and folks, to answer, to answer your questions, yes, Robin is on my on my end. Don't worry, you can see see him right here, right now. Hangar, there's a hangar special from Robin. Robin again, another hangar special at the bat. Missed a missed that missed that opportunity there. And Hornet Man trying to bring things back here a little stronger for the debuting, doing debuting the main roster as we saw these two on Extreme Saturday a couple couple months ago too. And it looks like Hornet Man trying to bring going for the Hornet's nest. Just buzzing away towards uh, Nightwing's ear. Nice thunder shock, zapping away Skull Man. There goes Hornet Man down for the count. And the Teen Titans summon, well, unfortunately, not even necessary. <laughs> I like how Nightwings are like in the corner, just like he's part, like he's part of the Teen Titans. That would be pretty funny, actually. I still can't believe they're making a Teen Titans Go movie. Are you serious? I mean, good for the little kid for the. For the younger audiences, but for us adults that were like who were Teen Titans fans back back then, come on, man! I'll, I just don't understand why would they make a Teen Titans Go movie? The show's already stupid enough. Why make a movie out of it? Oh, well, meanwhile, Hornet Man, go for the maximum, go for the maximum Hornets. Meanwhile, this is this is getting close now. If Hornet could get one more push here, I would say, oh, got got call for the Hornet's nest. Oh no, that's it. Dang. But nonetheless, Robin, like, pff, Kid Flash, stop breaking my cameras, Kid Flash. Get out of here, dumbass. Anyways, what? <laughs> wow. Okay, Kid Flash. Yeah, Kid Flash is an asshole. Yeah, some, yeah the Flash is way better than you. Hey, the hey, kid Flash, the Flash called from Raw. He wants his spandex, old spandex, back. Anyways, <laughs> what a two-zero! But what a good debut for Robin and Nightwing into the main roster. They're gonna make some good, good impact in the tag team division. We just saw the tag champs earlier. Like I said, they've been they're cleaning house in the tag team division, just just munching away in that food chain. But nonetheless, guys, <laughs> that's it for the for the match. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, I can Teen Titans go back to the Teen Titans Go rant. I'll have more on that when I do explain. Wait, they're making a movie out of that crap. Uh, 
why is it gonna be on the biggest screen? We the we our TV on our TV is like painful enough. It's stupid. But anyways, that's all for the battle. Sorry, I'm a little flustered today right now because I still can't believe they're making that stupid Teen Titans Go. Me that reminds me of that because that's just just dumb. It's a show for kids, for younger audiences. And if you're an adult, if you like Teen Titans, then you consider yourself your childhood ruined. And, Car and Cartoon Network trolling you. I was trolled when I first heard of that show. But Teen Titans came back. It was just, oh, a bunch of chibi-looking characters. And Starfire's stupidity. I hate Starfire right now. It's just, she just she was so hot and now turned like this little joke. I honestly hate it. Let me know in the comments if you hate Star Teen Titans Go. If you're, a big, if, you're, if you're a Teen Titans fan, let me know in the comments as well. I'm the Azure Blaze. I gotta go and get and get and go scream at a pillow. Let's hold on for a second.